Tattooing is a crafty thing. It's about keeping a small check on things. You need this, the finer things. Because the finer things matter. And that's what we want to be telling people who come to get tattooed. Like watch out for the finer things. You know, look at the finer things. Find the people that are into the finer things because they are the guys paying attention to all these things. Uh, I've been commercially tattooing for a decade now. And it's been uh, close to 10 years. And it's uh, been an awesome, awesome, awesome ride. But now I have to give back. I have to give my time to what I am really good at, to my true calling. And it's very funny that I'm really good at mech stuff. It's a really funny thing because it's not something I've chosen to do. It's just, it's just I'm really good at it. I can do it, man. It's just the easiest thing for me to do. All these years I've, I've, been, I've been fiddling with a lot of things but this. The minute I hit paper, I need to get pumped about it and it needs to happen like in 10 minutes. But I need to listen to like some really good melodic metal and that just sends it down that road and everything is like after that. When I'm tattooing, I have fun. I've already taken care of the homework, I've taken care of the design and wow, we're gonna... I, I never show anybody what things are gonna look like when I shade them, you know, because that's like giving away the secret of it all. And we make that the exciting part you know, of not knowing how this is going to turn out. I like to be spontaneous when I'm working. Like if I do two lines, I don't know how we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. You don't want to have like, you know, nine great black and gray pieces, you know, that look rock solid, you know. Everything is tight, contrast and this and that. And then have one fucking Maori piece that you didn't know what the fuck you're doing in it. It's just weird. If you take if you take a portfolio like that, you go and show it to people. They're gonna think you're an idiot. You can't take away the tribal factor from tattooing, just because it is tattooing. You know, tattoo. You can't take away the tribal factor. You know. We cannot perceive it from a from a city view. Food gatherer, hunter, you know, uh, protector, medicine. Most of tribal tattooing is done from that aspect 60 70 percent of it is done from that aspect and in today's day and age uh, it is extremely important to have a good artist at you because here is our marking of the age you get something that small that means you're a cheap fucker it looks like shit that means you're a really cheap fucker which spelled the wrong way holy shit you are a cock It's like having a secret, so they make you understand that about it. They make you earn it. Everybody wants to go fast, you know. Everybody wants to go down that hill fast. Let's learn to tattoo. Let's just go, okay? Everybody wants to go down that hill. Everybody wants to do business. Everybody wants to have studios. Everybody's got wings. It's okay. It's absolutely fine. But we are tattooing almost with toys. You can call it high tech, whatever crap you want to call it. It's just plastic. And it's just the right way. Mm -hmm. You spend time with guys who have been doing this for the longest time. Most of them are still working with their coils. Most of them are still making their own fucking needles. Most of them are teaching their apprentices the real things that matter. By giving them uh, the culture. From our culture, we're just going to get plastic machines. about tattooing apprenticeship is important because that's the only way to learn no one with money can come and buy this kind of knowledge out from you it is like a husband and wife kind of relationship that's what it is it's like a marriage of sorts but in a different environment you can't be watching like DVDs and then thinking that you can do something like that there's nothing like hands-on experience with tattooing that's what it is Some people really lose the point, I think, of doing it. 
some people do it for the truth some people will do it because it just pleases them you know and i think i'm one of those guys that i can do this and i i am i have the privilege of doing it quite frankly when i want to and who i choose to do it on so it does not matter to me uh, how much money i will make from it my privileges will not be about money in this they will only be about choosing the people i want to attack